This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank, Slovacek Sausage, Germania Insurance, We Rent It, and RV Source. Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. You know, for a plethora of Texans, the Panhandle is particularly far from their part of the state, but the Cadillac Ranch alone makes this trek well worth a stop. While we were there checking off the list, we happened to run into a man who takes the art from the Cadillac Ranch and makes it art of his own. When people talk about the Panhandle, the panoramic beauty of Palo Duro Canyon comes to mind for many, but for the rest... There you go, the f <laughs> The ever-changing art of Cadillac Ranch is what this part of our state is all about. That's one of those things you have to do while you're in Amarillo. Unreal. I'm amazed to be Cadillacs here. People come from far and wide to paint these pieces of art except for one local who's here for another reason. Hey, my name is Bob Crocodile Lyle, uh, Texas artist and uh, lucky person. <laughs> Crocodile comes to the Cadillac Ranch to collect pieces of petrified paint. I've got probably enough chunks to build 10,000 sets, so <laughs> I should, good. I should good. be okay for a while. <laughs> but that doesn't stop him from picking up a spray can from time to time. I'm making jewelry today. <laughs> You heard that right. Bob uses the paint sprayed on these symbols of the Lone Star State and makes it into Texas treasures. Over at his studio on Historic 66, that's gonna make a pretty piece. Crocodile carefully examines his collection of potential masterpieces. Of course, I don't know which side I'll use. I'm kind of leaning towards that one as his lackadaisical guard dog lady watches passers-by from her perch at the front door. Bob. Nobody remembers Bob, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean crocodile. Starts bringing the shine to some aging acrylic. Uh, once in a while I'd find a piece that was really pretty. A few years back, Crocodile had an idea of making the layers of latex that fell off the cars at Cadillac Ranch into something. First, he made pieces of art, portraying the caddies with the collected colors. But then, he got a bright idea. Lyle Argyle, with the exclusive home of Cadillac jewelry. <laughs> While it's not like polishing a fine gem or dazzling diamond, the final product looks priceless. When I first started it, yeah, it blew me away. The countless coats of color come together to make an amazing accidental masterpiece, as diverse as the designs on the DeVille. Sometimes it's dark and, you know, sometimes, you know, bright reds and greens and blues, and, and sometimes it's muted, so you never know. Sometimes you get a piece of gold or a piece of silver or sparklies or, because, you know, and sometimes you just hit paper and it ruins the whole thing. <laughs> Working with such an odd medium has its moments. You'd work and work and work and work and it's ugly. You spend six hours on a piece and it's ugly, so you throw it away and, but well, and my wife encouraged me, and I just kept kept working. The pieces of Catalyte careen out the door, and the creation could have come at a better time for Crocodile. I'm just thankful that I stumbled on something. I was going to close my art gallery last October, and I'm just thankful I stumbled on something that's helping me keep it open. So after you stop by the Cadillac Ranch in Amarillo, cruise on by Crocodile Lyle's art gallery. Just be on the lookout for Lady and see how polishing paint chips has provided this Lone Star State artist with a peculiar way to take a piece of Texas with you wherever you go. You can't always judge success by how many dollars you make, but yeah, it's a, a, a no, all notoriety is good, I guess. The Texas Bucket